Hey everyone, welcome again to uh, another edition of the live tea tasting. Uh, this week I have uh, two certain uh, special surprises. Well, not exactly surprises because I made the announcements uh, earlier, but uh, I'm going to be go uh, I'm going ahead. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start tonight's show. I'm going to wait a little while for people to uh, to start coming in. Shayna, how's it going? Okay, um, Greg. What's up, man? You missed the last one. All right. Hey, Alicia, how's it going? I almost said Alicia, but it's Alicia, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, start tonight's, uh, tonight's uh, uh, tea tasting. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and present to you guys a new flavor here. This is one uh, that's part of the, uh, the Adagio group. Um, I haven't... Did I do? Oh no, I did. Yeah, melonberry was uh, was last week. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do hot spicy, uh, hot cinnamon spice, and this one's gonna be a really good one. I mean, just because it's uh, it's named after a stripper doesn't mean that it's gonna mm -hmm. be bad. But <laughs> hey, Andre, what's up? How's it going? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. Speaking of topless belly dancers, here's mm -hmm. Andre. And uh, <laughs> hot cinnamon spice. That's my that's my stripper name, by the way. So <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm really excited to do this one. I had a, a, a sample of it at uh, at Adagio like a couple weeks ago, and I was really excited because it's. Um, it's a really it's 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 a really good one. I, I don't want to give too much away before I actually open it and uh, start talking about it. So I'm gonna go ahead without further ado because I am super excited oh about God. this week. Hot cinnamon spice. So this has got cinnamon, of course. Um, it's got orange peels, cloves, uh, Ceylon tea, and. Well, yeah, it's that's pretty much it. I got ahead of myself there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up real quick. First impressions of a smell. I, I haven't smelled it dry uh, because this was when I when I sampled it, it was already made. Ooh, that's really nice. It's like it's kind of woodsy. Uh, it smells like cinnamon air freshener uh, with a little bit of. Um, with a little bit of orange in it, like like the orange is kind of prevalent, but not overpowering. It smells a lot like uh, like cinnamon gum, and you know that would be an amazing ma. What's up? You made it. I was hoping that you would come in because uh, I was sending you all those messages and you didn't say anything, so I was hoping that you got them. Hey, poopers. Hey, cell toys. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Maria, glad that you could make it, and my mm -hmm. seven uh, my seven reminders finally got you here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm I'm talking about the uh, the scent, and it's really really nice. Like it's it's very soft, but you can tell it's got a a, mm -hmm. a, a good kick to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it up. Also making my uh, debut, my premiere. Ooh, it's heavy. Hey, Liana. This is my newest addition to my collection. The uh, cast iron teapot. This thing, if it's like, it's gotta be like two or three pounds. Mickey, mm -hmm. what's up? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go. Give the restaurant your phone. So this thing is like, it's cast iron, solid as a rock. Mm -hmm. This one can, can, take this one can take a beating let's let's do what what thing are you talking about I don't know. um so this i don't know how i'm gonna pour with this thing and talk to you guys at the same time but you know what that's what this uh this stream is all about it's about doing new things mm -hmm. and um hey ryan uh, it's about doing new things and we'll just discover how things work as we go along I've never worked with anything this heavy before, so I'm gonna be in for a surprise. Ooh, that's like, <laughs> it's, it really is heavy. Jose, what's up? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour this out a little bit. 
Uh, looks like I got a good amount on the first try. It looks a little bit heavy, but that's okay because I love my uh, my tea strong. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Now it looks like a really it looks like a really uh, a really bulky tea. Let me switch the camera real quick. Now you see this like really big chunks in there. Those are the orange peels. Uh, it's surrounded uh, as well as the cloves. You can see it right over here. Like there's a shadow of it. Um, and the Ceylon tea, of course, is the black tea that goes along with it. So I'm, I'm going to give myself... I think I poured out slightly too much, mm -hmm. but I don't care. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> drink it anyway because I'm going to make it nice and spicy. And yeah, it, it does. It does have a mulchy look to it. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't smell like mulch, and it won't taste like mulch. Not that I know what mulch tastes like, but it's a fair guess. So it sounds like my yep, just clicked. My water is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out. And this looks like it, it looks like it's a little bit bigger than my normal pot. So I'm probably going to be drinking up more, but we'll see. And another good thing about this pot is the, the lid doesn't fall into the, uh, the actual pot. Like the old one, well not the old one because I still use it, but the, the one that I use often has a lid like this and it dips into the uh, the tea so sometimes if I put too much uh, it'll pour out you you guys have seen it like I've accidentally put it in uh, put too much in and it gets very uh, like it overflows this lid it's completely inside so you don't have to worry about the uh, you don't have to worry about spilling it okay so this I'm gonna steep at uh, 212 degrees it's 810 now uh, so I'm gonna go uh, 212 degrees for about five minutes. It's just a regular, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's a regular black tea. Uh, and as usual, I, I don't know if there's a real danger to uh, to oversteeping it because yeah, that's that's exactly what she said. No. <laughs> uh, I don't have to worry about oversteeping it. Um, because it's got a lot of, uh, of cinnamon and spice and normally you don't have to worry much about chai uh, that much and, and it's got like the chai spices to it the only problem is uh, it's got orange peels in it and if I'm not careful uh, the rind bitterness uh, will seep into it and that's what I'm most uh, what I'm most concerned about um, but as long as I keep an eye on it it should be fine uh, I might understeep it just a little bit because I was talking to you guys uh, after the pouring and that, that killed some time before I started taking count. Uh, so I'll probably just pull it out at, uh, at 8.14, like just under the dot. Uh, so go, I'll make sure to avoid all that bitterness that, uh, that happens when, <laughs> when I mess up my tea. Uh, so, once again, I've pre-sweetened my pot with a little bit of stevia. Um, I actually <laughs> ran out last night, and of all the time to run out, you know, I just had to do it yesterday, so I had to make a, a, quick, uh, a quick run to, the, to Walmart to pick some more up. And, you know, it's, it's, I'm restocked, uh, so this should be interesting. And I've also, um, I wanted to bring up a little something I was talking uh, with a coworker of mine, and we came up with a little bit uh, of an idea. I'm not going to be able to do it on the stream for a, a couple weeks. I want to make sure that it's a viable idea. But when I do, I'll present it, and you guys are either going to love it or be freaked out by it. So this is something that, uh, Luke, if you ever watch it, I'm doing your idea eventually. <laughs> I might even do it without uh, without testing it, cause you know that's that's how I roll. <laughs> you guys, you guys have seen plenty of times where I just do it first time for for the audience. 
And, you know, I mean, that's, that's what I love, that first-time reaction that uh, you, you, can't, you can't fake it. You know, if I never had it before, you're like, okay, this, this reaction is first reflex, that's got to be real. And that's, that's the whole point of, uh, of doing this stream. Hey, Maddie, how's it going? Maddie, Mary, Mary, I don't know. I never, I have so many, <laughs> so many people named Mari in my life. Like Maria and Mari and, okay, so I, I always, I always hesitate. Mm -hmm. You're on this time. Yes, I can see. <laughs> I'm glad. You didn't, uh, you didn't miss my, uh, you didn't miss my, my tasting yet. Um, I still have one more minute to go before it's completed. Uh, and then you'll, you're going to see my first react. Well, not my first first reaction because I've already had uh, just a, a little taste. Like it was about yay big. So it wasn't enough for me to really do an in-depth analysis. But it was good to... Uh, it was good to wet my whistle, essentially. So anyway, I'm going to open it up to the floor for uh, any comments. It's not cheating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not a cheater. It's just basically I, I, I'm I getting a, a small sample knowing that it's not going to kill me. Of course, I've gone into these things without knowing whether or not it'll kill me anyway, but it's a safe bet. <laughs> I had medical people around me. Okay, so it's 8.14. My five minutes are up. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. That's what he said. I know I beat somebody to it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that mm -hmm. smells really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now... <laughs> Giggity. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I I would say so, Andre. Mm -hmm. That's that I do not condone driving and watching my tea tasting. But of course, if I'm that famous, then by all means, do it without my discretion. Ah, you're you're a grown mm -hmm. man. You can do whatever you like. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch cameras so you can see the difference. Uh, let me see if I can get mm -hmm. some more light. Yeah, there we go. So now that you see it's wet, all the leaves have expanded. It's a l that's a huge difference between what it looked like. I'm trying to get it focused. I know it's mm -hmm. not great. There we go. So you can see the orange is more pronounced um, now that it's been it, been steeped. It's got a little bit more of the life back into it. Uh, the the leaves have expanded, so it's got more of a of a mulchy, muddy look to it. You can see the uh, the texture has changed a lot, like it's it's all bunched together. And okay, yeah, even the even the uh, the colors changed. It looks a little bit darker, but you know that might be just the light. All right, there we go. Now, because this thing is so heavy, and because I'm using this pot for the first time, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, it looks like, it, it, it really does look delicious, in a way. Uh, uh oh, there we go. I forgot to uh, stir my sugar. I need to have uh, just a little something to uh, to mix it up. All right, there we go. And I love that that noise that it makes, like ping, ping, ping. Okay, so, ooh, yeah, that's it's hot. Like even the handle is hot. I'm wondering, <laughs> maybe I should get my other uh, my other tea rag because this one's gonna be hot to handle. I wasn't, I was kind of anticipating that the handle might be hot, but I didn't want to uh, go into this on uh, flavor enhancer. Yeah, that's going to be, uh, well, that's going to be uh, to be seen. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use my extra rag. Oh, and by the way, everybody, if you're enjoying this, go ahead and uh, like and share because uh, that's what I'm doing this for, so everybody can uh, can take part. And once again, I'm filling up Mr. T-Rex here. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. Wish me luck, I hope I don't spill it on my first try. Oh, this is heavy. All right, so. Oh, that is, that's beautiful, and I love that it's not dribbling. Now you can see it's a really golden brown, beautiful color to it. It's like a copper penny. Well, it's a good thing I happen to have a very strong wrist. You can uh, extrapolate from that what you will. Hey, princess, you made it. I'm happy. Okay. Ooh. They were made into mugs, exactly. Oh, that smells really, really nice. It's, it's, the, the smell has gotten a little bit calmer, a little less profound, mm -hmm. but, um, by the same token, it's not, um, it's not overpowering. Mmm, I love that. It's, it's, it's still in that, uh, it's got a great aroma to it. Mm -hmm. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slurp my tea, because that's the proper way to do it. It is good. That, you could taste the cinnamon and the orange most. You don't really get the black tea as much, it's kind of in the back seat, but I'm, I'm grateful for it. And I'll tell you why. Uh, sometimes if you overpower it with Ceylon, you get a bit of a um, of a dirt kind of flavor to it, um, like like an overpowering earthiness. And you know that, that's not exactly my uh, my favorite. But yeah, you see a black screen. I'll try try refreshing it. Hopefully that'll work. I I don't know what's going on. Now you can tell that the cinnamon and the cloves are working pretty well together. It's not overpowering. It's not like spicy, spicy hot, but it's it's good. Like I know, mm -hmm. hey Amy, how's it going? I know that uh, mm -hmm. the the stream stuttered. Did I did I lose? Because I, I I'm not seeing anything on my end. I hope it's recording well at least. Mm. But yeah, it's 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 a soft burn, and I think that it's gonna be perfect for like a uh, for a fall for a fall afternoon to an evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're you're not the only one who noticed. I guess the yeah, I was having some uh, some issues earlier with a mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, with the service, but now that I'm under Wi-Fi, it should be it should be fixed, but. I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. I, I don't, if I lost mm -hmm. for ten seconds, maybe, maybe it's it's still recording at least. I hope. Oh well, you know. I mean, it wouldn't be one of my streams mm -hmm. if there wasn't a technical issue or two. Mm -hmm. I, I, Fifteen minutes. It's actually. 821 now and I think I know why I just looked over and I don't have any Wi-Fi so I probably switched uh, over to my uh, to my data plan yeah I, I guess I lost Wi-Fi without knowing it but um, it's already it's already been past 15 minutes uh, it's already been 22, so uh, Colleen, you're a little bit late for whatever it is that you were timing me for. Mm -hmm. Hmm.